anyone married in? Who's married? Yeah? yeah. yeah? And what's the longest someone's been married? Two days. <laughs> two days? <laughs> Who's been married for two days? You got married on? Friday. On Friday? Well, congratulations. Well done, you. <laughs> and can I ask, is she pregnant or is this a proper one? <laughs> Sorry? I've done that already. You've, you already have a child? And now you got married? Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Size isn't important, it's what you do with it. Would you agree with that, ladies? No! no. <laughs> There's a lady over there that likes a big cock and she doesn't care who knows it. <laughs> Sorry, it's quite possible you just whispered that and it picked up an echo. <laughs> How old did you say you were, sir? 14. You're 14 years old. Right, and what's your name? Sam. Sam, right. Let's say I'm driving to you, Sam. Okay. At, I don't know, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> and you run away at 10 miles an hour. It's an aggregate of 30, isn't it? <laughs> Not only have you given yourself a chance of survival, you've also learned a little something about maths. <laughs> it's a win-win. You all right? Mm. <laughs> Do you like girls yet? <laughs> You probably don't even know you're gay. Do you know you're gay? <laughs> you do, you're fully aware. OK, well, yeah, yeah, not. Definitely not, because we haven't got a camera pointing at you or anything. <laughs> Enjoy school. <laughs> uh, what happened? Do you get a phone call? There's a Scottish lady getting a phone call. I imagine the drugs are arriving any moment. <laughs> All right. You switched it off and it rang anyway. <laughs> well, I'm not buying that fucking story. <laughs> Don't worry, it's OK, it's only a phone, don't feel bad. It's a what, sorry? It's a late alarm to come and see me. Or well, come and see me an hour fucking late. <laughs> You're not the one I've booked for the interval, are you? <laughs> That's probably enough. Looking around, some of them have made no effort. <laughs> You've not made an effort, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. Go, <laughs> oh, no lie. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> and so your comment there is I haven't made much of an effort. Well, there's some cameras and some fucking lights. I don't know what you had in mind. <laughs> It's not like I come to your work and knock the sailor's cocks out of your mouth, is it? <laughs> have any ladies in here got tattoos? Yes. What have you got? A vent. A what? A vent. You've got a vent? <laughs> I think that may be the crudest term I've ever heard for a vagina. <laughs> I've got a vent. <laughs> Well, if you're particularly gassy, I suppose. <laughs> Whereabouts is this vent? On my arm. On your arm, you've got a, a vent. <coughs> you, you have, by all accounts, got some sort of vent. <laughs> Fucking go, girl. <laughs> Nothing says feminine like air conditioning equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says I'm hot like I need a fucking vent. That's how hot I fucking am. What, sorry? Is that Buckfast? No, that's water. You've probably heard of it. <laughs> Who's the most famous person I've ever met? Well, I, I once met her. Uh, the, um, well, it's quite an impressive one. I don't want to show off, but you know, you know, you know, no, you know how villages have got idiots, yeah? <laughs> I met the idiot for the whole of Glasgow. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he's, uh... I love swearing. I've always quite. Oh, you're right. Sorry. What was that? I missed a bit of chat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> sorry, it's, it's not the telly. If you talk, I can hear.
Now you're looking pissed off. You're thinking, I didn't press the red button, it's gone all interactive. What, <laughs> what, what were you saying? Go on, say. You thought you <laughs> You just said I thought you were talking about snake bite the drink. <laughs> yeah. What what happened was <laughs> Okay, in a joke, a joke is like two stories, yeah? <laughs> and the first story makes you make an assumption about something. So the assumption people made about snake bite in, in that joke was that it was a snake biting you. But, but he, he, <laughs> That's the setup of the joke. So you made the assumption he's talking about a snake bite, a snake biting someone. In the second part of the joke, often known as the punchline, <laughs> what you'll what you'll find is that rug will be will be whipped from under you, and you'll realise that the assumption you made was erroneous. <laughs> Suddenly revealing a fact that was previously concealed is is the nature of all one-liners, madam. So in essence, I was talking about both snake bites, the thing that happens when a snake bites you. <laughs> And also the drink. <laughs> no problem at all, it's lovely to help. <laughs> it's the same with the flaming Zambuca. No one's ever ordered one of those sober. And, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you have? Yes. You've ordered a flaming Zambuca sober? It's your drink. It's your drink. Yes. <laughs> you order flaming Zambucas? Yes. The clue as to why you shouldn't order one, madam. It's the fact it's on fire. <laughs> it's the equivalent of walking into a kitchen going, I'm a bit thirsty, as a glass and a tap, and then spotting out the corner of your eye, a gas hob. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I could possibly think of to order a flaming Zambuca when sober is if you meet a girl and she's something just a little bit special. Yeah? Maybe you've been out on two or three dates, you've established she's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's funny. You think you might be in love with her, you think she might be the one but she's got a bit of a problem with facial hair on the top lip. <laughs> <laughs> that can be an awkward thing to bring up. Much better, I think. Take her out for a drink. Two flaming Zambucas, please. <laughs> no, 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 they're both for you. <laughs> you know, and you drink flaming Zambucas as well. Where about you from? <laughs> oh, of course. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, I was just I was asking kind of a London audience, do you drink flaming Zambucas when sober? <laughs> uh, if I thought there were people in from Newcastle, <laughs> I would have said, what do you like to drink to get you in the mood for a fight? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr, the guy you just saw in that video. Thanks for watching it, because uh, somehow I get money from that. I, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. P probably, probably it filters through some sort of advert that you watched before you watched the video, maybe? Or maybe you subscribed? Anyway, thanks for watching it, and somehow that benefits me, and hopefully I'll see you at a live show at some point further down the sunny road. Good luck.